Hey there everyone, this is Seb, welcome you to part 4 of Let's Play Lost Eden on CDI. And before I totally mess this up and forget, which I will, don't worry. <laughs> Do you know what uh, species of dinosaurs Dina and Mungo are? Well, apparently they are Parasaurolophus. And I hope I pronounced that kind of correctly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and uh, from what I've heard now, they're... Uh, size is totally off. They should be a lot bigger, but oh well. Uh, yeah, this uh, was uh, information given to me by fellow YouTuber Master Mewtwo Alpha. Awesome fellow, and thank you very much for that. He pretty much sent in a whole essay on uh, dinosaurs, <laughs> and it was very interesting. And knowing is indeed half the battle. Uh, it's the remembering part that I really worry about, because uh, yeah... <laughs> I'm not going to remember all these names and probably by part 5 I've already forgotten what they are but uh, yeah it was still a very interesting read. Uh, and he had some more interesting uh, f uh, things to tell me which uh, will be coming up shortly because I messed up in the previous part on uh, one occasion already. Anyway uh, we need to do stuff but they didn't really say what. So whenever something like that happens you can just go into your party screen and ask your fellow uh, companions and they will basically tell you where to go next so that's really great of this game that they guide you along as you go so let's ask, uh, ask Mungo we should look for a herd of brontosaurus so that's basically what we need to do the brontosaurus they need to build our uh, citadel now, as you might remember, we found some the other day, uh, just north of here. At least I said they were brontosauruses. There we go. Now, uh, Master Mewtwo Alpha also noted that brontosauruses, technically speaking, don't even exist anymore. Uh, yeah, uh, none of the dinosaurs exist anymore, of course. But uh, what I mean with that is that they, uh, the term doesn't really exist anymore because they were believed to be a separate species, but actually they were not. They were the same as these guys, and these guys are not brontosauruses. And they don't speak English that well. <laughs> How surprising. But these guys are... These are a Parasaurus. They are tireless transporters. They can take you to the farthest corners of the world. These are very handy to have later on, and we will shortly uh, talk with them again. But yeah, they'll uh, gladly transport us when a citadel has been built here in the valley. I thought you were done talking already, Mungo. Sorry about that. But yeah, the Apatosaurus is actually uh, also the Brontosaurus as we know now, and I guess this game was made before they made the discovery where uh, Brontosaurus are actually. A uh, sort of subspecies, I suppose, from the Apatosaurus. But in this game, they are still uh, both uh, in existence. Anyway, uh, we need to look for the Brontosaurus, so let's do that. And here we find us some mushrooms. Mushrooms are always uh, nice to have, and we'll actually need those um, very soon as well. So let's move on and find the uh, Brontosaurus. Uh, Alright, yeah. If you go to the south, uh, you automatically get back to the map screen, which is actually something I didn't want to do. You can also go back to the map screen by clicking on the map itself. Anyway, let's uh, head back in. And just go back to the left through this row and see what uh, comes up. And there's something here. And these are the brontosaurus of this game. So let's have a word. Also not uh, the best English speakers. But luckily we've got translators. The Brontosaurus is curious to know why we have come. How have we uh, gone back in time? I mean, uh, 
Who needs universal translators when in prehistoric times we already had them? <laughs> anyway, uh, we need to give him a gift. Again, this is all stuff you can learn by your companions. Um, Mongo is pretty much the most knowledgeable in this regard. The Brontosaurus are keen on mushrooms from the forest, my lord. For them, there is no more delicious food. So that's a pretty clear hint on what you should uh, give these guys. But uh, we've got two mushrooms, so whatever will we do? Well, we can just give them to Mungo and he'll tell us uh, which is good and which is not. A poison toadstool. If I were you, I wouldn't offer it. Okay, so the small one is clearly bad. <laughs> and what do we do with bad stuff? Well, we throw it in the trash can, which uh, happens to be fuck. Good. <laughs> and he'll gladly get rid of it for us. He eats everything and it's not poisonous for him uh, for some reason. <laughs> That's his purpose in the game. I mean, I'm, I, I know he's supposed to be the fighter, but you never see him fight. So uh, that leaves the big one. So let's uh, let's just try that. This is all optional, by the way, guys. But I, I just want to make it so that it kind of makes sense what I'm doing. That's for the Brontosaurus. All right. So this is indeed the correct uh, toadstool. So let's give that. Yeah, I'm not sure if you want me to uh, just rush through the things and do what's needed or want these extra bit of scenes that make sense, you know, to get a bit of a direction in the game. Because I also want to offer a bit of a walkthrough here. But uh, yeah, they do take up more time, of course. Anyway, let's give the mushroom to the uh, Brontosaurus here. <laughs> And I suppose he's happy about that. <laughs> These Brontosaurus thank you for your gift of friendship, my lord. They hail you as the bringer of hope, a legendary hero in their lore. Well, <laughs> what one mushroom can do. <laughs> also amazing that one mushroom is enough for the whole herd. <laughs> you know, you'd think it would be kind of a small gift for such a big animal in general but for a whole herd oh well so uh, that leaves us one thing to do and that's uh, play on our flute you know let's whistle and make towers appear <laughs> help of Chong and his followers, the Brontosaurus will build a modest citadel in this place. To make a mightier fortress, they will need the skills of the Triceratops. Yeah, we won't be seeing the Triceratops for quite a while. But at least they can start on something. And so the very first citadel was built in the mountains of Shamar. The Shorians could now defend their valley against the Tyran. And again, he uh, leaves his beak open. <laughs> he's also back in the party. I didn't really notice him uh, coming back, but yeah, I guess he's done sta scouting around. So yeah, it's not much of a citadel yet, but you know, they're working on it. Uh, huh. Of course I did funny things there. Oh well. Uh, There's also something uh, someone else uh, noticed on the uh, on YouTube. Um, a YouTuber by the name of Freak... No, yeah, Freakachu. Freakachu, there we go, sorry about that. <laughs> Um, the cursor is actually pretty impressive uh, and I, I agree with that because uh, the CDI isn't too good at rendering graphics and the cursor does a lot of different stuff 
when it's moving around and <laughs> it must take a lot of out of the CDI actually uh, believe it or not <laughs> anyway let's uh, talk to uh, Chong here and see if he's happy with the Citadel Prince Adam you have rekindled our hopes in the Valley of Shamar. Take this gem as a token of our thanks, please. It is a moonstone. It may serve you well one day. And we get another present. Nice. Our citadel will draw other races of dinosaurs to the valley. You will see. And uh, we will see indeed. Eventually the Triceratops will come and uh, Velociraptors will uh, show up. And there's another dino roaming about but uh, we will not be seeing them for a bit. Anyway that's it for this valley that we can do right now. Uh, yeah there is some uh, water dwelling uh, dino in here but uh, we're not gonna deal with those yet. There's a valley to the northeast, my lord. It's a place of great strategic value. I suggest you build another citadel there. All right. We must find a Parasaurus to transport us. On foot, we will never reach that valley. So now the Apatosaurus uh, comes into play. Okay, so no problem there. We know where they are. Um, let's make a little trip through the forest. Sometimes you can find uh, bird nests in the forest as well, and those will come into play later on as well. Some of you guys also notice that the uh, characters have weird eye movements. <laughs> and they do, and uh, I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's just programs really kind of weird I don't know but they do kind of feel uh, make me feel at home so I don't mind <laughs> and there's a bird nest here and there's eggs in it we don't need the eggs so we take the bird nest no I said we take the bird nest did I click off of it hmm weird Yes, there we go. We take the bird nest with the eggs. We don't need the eggs, we just need the bird nest. So what do we do with it? Why, we throw it in the uh, trash can over here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good egg. Adam take nest, fuck not one. <laughs> Alright, fuck, thanks enough. <laughs> So, uh, okay, we've got a bird nest now. Um, won't be using that for a while. So, was the herd over here? No. I think they moved, and you see that. Oh, and of course, they're to the left because <laughs> there's a nice red dot on the map that shows you where they are. Duh. There we go. And we've seen this, so. Uh, let's talk to them and get their help. Mungo, if you please. These are a Parasaurus. They are tireless transporters. They can take you to the farthest corners of the world. Yeah, you've already see said that, so uh, make them help us, you know. They're honored to transport the builder of citadels. They'll take us wherever you want to go. Nice, so they're our first transport in the game. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> I don't want to go to the party screen. We already know what to do now. Now we can leave this valley and go to the next one with our newfound transport. And to leave you just go to the top here and you get that funky uh, arrow pointing up again. And we can go back to the world map. 
show me where you want to go. And we want to go to Uluru right now, which is an interesting place. Uluru it is. Which will we be visiting uh, a lot throughout the game since uh, they've got stuff which is needed in every valley. Adam had brought hope to the Valley of Shamar, but his adventure was only just beginning. For what use was a single new citadel against the marauding hordes of Marcus Rex? Well, there's two citadels now, right? I mean, most still standing and, uh, and all. <laughs> so now the travel scenes are expanded uh, with uh, actual transport. There we go, and now we're leaving Shamar, and later on we'll uh, get the scene for go entering Uluru. And they're kind of nice, uh, I think. But yeah, Uluru is a place that we will get back to a lot, and uh, is, is the game stuck? Oh great, it's not. <laughs> but most valleys you'll actually return to uh, more than once. We'll also be uh, seeing Shamar a couple of more times. You really need to travel hence, uh, back and forth a lot between the valleys, and that can be kind of annoying. But oh well. And of course I forgot to set the timer again, so I think I'm just going to leave off here and... We'll take care of Uluru next time, so until then guys, take care and see you later.